Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how you can bring Google Sheets into Looker Studio. That way you can easily create charts and tables. The first thing you want to do is make sure your data in Google Sheets is prepared properly. That includes making the first row in your sheet, your column headers, making sure none of the cells are merged together and that none of the cells have images nor graphics. Dates should be formatted as dates to include the full month, day, and year. And when creating your tables, a longer table is better than a wider table. So for example, instead of creating a table where you list out the different categories across your column headers like this, include the categories within the table so you would have a column header for the category and then the value for each category into each row so when you have your google sheets go to add data in the top menu then select google sheets and then look for your spreadsheet choose your worksheet and click add then you'll see your dimensions and metrics make sure your data types for these dimensions and metrics are correct. You can see the data types indicated by the icons to the left of each dimension or metric. So for date, of course, we have this calendar icon. And then for product ID, it's a string. Quantity, revenue, and record count are numbers. If you need to change one of the data types, go to resource at the top menu manage added data sources click on the data source that you want to edit and then you can change the data type by clicking on the drop downs that are offered an example of something you might want to look out for is a field with a numeric string so for example if you look at quantity and revenue you can see the default aggregation is sum for both of these fields. But if you have something like a product ID that consists of numbers, and let's say Google reads it as a numeric value, if it's not meant to be a true numeric value, or you don't want to give Looker Studio the ability to perform mathematical operations on it, make sure you change the data type to text. Once you have those squared away, you can set the data freshness. We'll just keep it at 15 minutes. And we'll turn off the community visualizations access, especially if you want your data to be private. And click on done, close, and you can configure your data visualizations. If you want the full comprehensive Looker Studio tutorial, including how to connect data sources and how to configure dashboards and reports, check the link on the screen or the link in the description. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.